Hey y'all, it's Betsy. Uh, today we are going to go over my March favorites and fails as far as makeup products go. And I have some things that I loved and I have some things that I didn't love. Um, so there are a couple of blushes that I actually really love this month. I got the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush blush in my boxy charm and this just goes on so smooth and is just a beautiful color for my complexion and I really really love this blush um, I also bought the narcissist wanted one cheek palette and I haven't used all of the colors out of here but NARS makes some of my favorite blushes and they have a darker one as well but as you can see, those blushes are so beautifully pigmented and they blend like a dream. And I think the NARS blushes are like $30 a piece. So this is a good way to get a few different blush choices without spending an absolute fortune because this is $59 and you get six colors versus spending $30 a piece. Um, but as you can see, they're nice and pigmented. They go on smooth. They lay down over foundation really, really well. Um, I have one highlighter that I absolutely adore. Um, I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese highlight, which looks like this. You can see the glow from there. And look how beautiful and smooth that is and this color is just phenomenal and it works on both lighter and darker complexions than what i have this is a fantastic highlighter and i think it's 28 dollars for that uh, i think the tr pretty vulgar blushes are 26 i'm not sure i didn't read my thing when i got my boxy charm but again i like that but you get colors that are pretty similar in the narcissist palette so depending on what you like. And what I'm wearing on my eyes today is the Too Faced Lysa Festival eyeshadow palette. And if you haven't noticed, I absolutely adore colorful eyeshadows. Um, and I love the duochrome shades in here. Um, they are very nice and pigmented. Um, there are a couple of colors that are a little bit powdery. Um, so I would recommend that if you're going to get this palette to, I think it's $42, to take and do your eyeshadow first. But as you can see, the colors are absolutely beautiful. They're nice and pigmented. They blend out really well. And I've had this eyeshadow look on now for eight hours and it's still there and um, the colors have not worn away i now i do have a glitter on top i have the gypsy i think is the color from steely glitter and glow on the main part of my eyes but i think it's absolutely phenomenal the inner corner highlight i'm using is this shade beaming or beaming and i used the unicorn tears which is just their old school unicorn tears is the highlight on my cheek which again i've had on for like eight hours now for a couple of lip products that i didn't like and this is pretty much the end of the video the color i'm wearing right now is pinwheel it's from color pop this was with their my little pony collection and i'm not sure if you can tell in the video or not but it has taken and traveled from my lips into the fine lines around my lips and most of my liquid lipsticks don't do that um i'm only 34 years old i don't have a whole lot but it is not a flattering look whenever your lipstick travels so i would not recommend this color and i'm not sure about the other colors from ColourPop. i mean the shade is absolutely phenomenal i love this pink it's nice and bright and pretty but if you know you're in your 30s or older and you've got fine lines around your lips this is not a flattering look and i would not recommend that because a lot of times when i'm wearing a liquid lipstick i don't want to feel like i have to put on a lip liner to keep it from traveling and then another thing that i did not like i bought from sephora the mark jacobs uh, cream and sugar lip kit i like the lipstick and the, the lip liner but everybody raves about Marc Jacobs lip glosses and to me 
it's pretty but it's not my favorite as you can see and it's very sticky and it transfers a lot so it gets very gummy like I have it on over that ColourPop um, because the ultra matte lips from ColourPop are extremely drying and I've worn a few shades before but not for as long as I've worn this one and because um, typically I will reapply um, or eat something and I really haven't today and this is just not doing anything for me and for the price of a full-size Marc Jacobs lip gloss this wasn't so bad it was like 25 for the lipstick the lip gloss and the lip liner but for the price of a Marc Jacobs lip gloss this is not my favorite um, the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb I think is what it's called that is a much better lip gloss it's just very smooth it doesn't feel sticky like I feel like when I'm talking my lips are wanting to stick together you know what I mean and there's some lip glosses that are like that I mean it's a beautiful color it's just I don't think that one's for me um, don't forget to check me out on all of my social medias Twitter to Twitter snapchat Instagram Facebook uh, as well as my second channel which is cut in corners which is where I do all my crafts uh, I think that's it for today so thanks and y'all have a great day